using so so pretty so there's not a whole lot to say but I'll be doing my nails on my own today and I hope you enjoyed the video but I want to remind you before I leave you with the video to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet make sure you click on that notification bell that way YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video and what else those likes help me and the channel a lot and of course those love notes you already know what those mean to me so make sure you leave them in the comments all right my beautiful people without further ado let's get started with the nail video love you guys all right guys so as i said these will be the nails i am going to be using today i will be applying the nail prep first new 
months for 2021 so just heads up on that okay guys I have again I have made videos for you guys but when I when my mind says listen I don't feel like doing this I'm telling you I don't do it because I don't want to feel like I'm doing it because I have to I do this for fun I do this for passion I do this because I enjoy it so anything that takes away from that it's not gonna happen and I hope you all understand that and I'm buying Andre with you guys as always oh my god my stomach it, it's happy but it's not happy so um I want to ask you guys and I want you to be very honest with me what are your favorite kind of videos of mine? Like, I love makeup videos and I love, um, I love it. Obviously, that's my passion. But sometimes I feel like I don't want to, um, overwhelm or overload my channel with makeup ASMR. Um, even though I would love to do just that. I don't want you guys to get tired of, of that on my channel. So besides makeup ASMR, leave me in the comments what you want to see more of on my channel. Because I want to give you guys what you want. So I also want to start doing um, a little bit more of like eating ASMR. I enjoy it a lot. I just unfortunately can't eat too much. But that's not the point, right? It's not about eating a lot. It's about enjoying what you eat. And then providing you guys tingles and relaxation. Um, I also enjoy doing um, like, you know, motivational and, you know, um, inspiring videos of just chit-chatting with you guys. I like doing those too. But anyway... So, in the comments, let me know what you want to see more of on my channel because I care about what you guys think and I know you're probably saying, yeah, right, you've abandoned us for so long and I promise you, I get it and I wouldn't blame you for thinking like that, but it hasn't been my true intentions to, to make you all feel like I don't care about my channel because if there's something I care about is my ASMR family a lot. You guys are incredible. The support I've gotten from this channel is insane. The love and support is insane. And I will forever be grateful. So, um, yeah. Oh, and my allergies have been terrible, guys. Terrible. Oh my god. your 2021 going so far <sighs> let's hope for a better year right for a better 2021 hopefully we get certain things under control in the world and go back to normal living i can't wait for normal living i miss my social life i miss it i really do i miss being able to Guys, I'm the kind of person that I make friends everywhere. I talk to people everywhere. <laughs> I could be in a supermarket line and I'll make friends at the line. It's crazy. I'm very, very, very social. I'm very friendly. I'm very social. So everywhere I go, I make friends. But it, 2020 was a very different year for me. So... I said 
casserole oh my god it is so it's like a cornbread but it's not it's not like oh sorry guys sorry but it's not like bread it's more like a pudding type it's only the five ingredients are uh corn cream of corn um whole corn sour cream oh and a um a box of jiffy which is cornmeal and it is so good too i'm telling you we had really good um a really good christmas meal we had a variety of things we also made uh my parents also made something that we call empanadas which is um um stuffed I'm sure you guys probably know what empanadas are. So we made empanadas as well. Uh, my parents also made, um, um, I'm trying to think. They made uh, another Colombian tradition for Christmas is um, natilla. And buñuelos natillas made out of um, cornstarch and sugar. Cornstarch and sugar. And the buñuelos are like made with cheese and like um flour and it's got a little bit of it's got like a little hint of salt and also it's got a hint of sugar so also super delicious yeah so again my christmas was quiet but it was amazing i couldn't ask for more i could not have asked for more i mean family we were together we were healthy just enjoying food i gained like 20 pounds oh. but i already started my journey again not my journey my uh my what do you call it got my sh together <laughs> i already started uh, drinking my protein drinking a lot of more water and taking my vitamins uh, on a regular because I had stopped um, temporarily um, taking my vitamins so I started my routine that's what I was thinking that's the word I was looking for I restarted my my you know on point routine eating healthier drinking more water being more conscious of what I eat and how much I eat I try to keep track of my calorie intake my caloric intake so to start seeing some results soon here because girl this weight comes on like shh, like i breathe and i can't wait but to lose it is so difficult so annoying but you got to be disciplined in order to uh, see results so i can't expect to see results if i'm not putting in the effort So yeah, one of my, uh, I'm not going to say it's a resolution, it's a plan of um, losing at least half of the weight I gained <laughs> in this pandemic. I've gained a lot of weight. I think there's no one or almost everyone has gained weight in this pandemic as far as I see and I hear people talk about everybody has gained weight in this pandemic so annoying because i mean usually like i'm we're a lot more active i go to the beach a lot um we go to the mall like go round and round and round in circles at the mall it's like now it's like you're avoiding all these places because you know you want to take care of yourself and others so it's like you avoid you know putting yourself out there putting yourself at risk and then also putting others out there at risk for your family so that's what I'm saying. I am so ready for this sh stuff to be over. I'm ready for a new beginning. Yeah. I want to travel, guys. I want to travel. I want to travel. I want to travel. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to... Uh, 
I don't know if it's, anyone has ever seen it. I'm obsessed with that show. I mean, I already finished the whole thing, the entire series, but it's like people that decide to move to like Spain and Portugal and oh my god. The living out there is like a dream come true. I mean, I'm not saying I would want to move out there, but just, you know, people.
else guys OMG my skin has been like nasty nasty dry my hands especially and it's because I am constantly using hand sanitizer like constantly every like it's it's a self-conscious thing constantly putting on hand sanitizer and I don't know if you can tell look at my skin can you see like look look at the inside of my skin my hand look do you see that it's terrible look how dry it is and I'm constantly constantly um hydrating putting on lotion but no, this look at my skin it's really really bad I don't know if you can tell it's so bad and it's rough look oh it's really really bad I don't know can you guys see it's disgusting they look like they look wrinkled and my hands are not wrinkled since I learned to do this. 
this like I'm I love it I love it I do get tired of it sometimes so I just go get my nails done but lately I haven't done that too much I, I think I've done it since this whole pandemic maybe once or twice meaning from last year till this point to this day I got them done for my birthday which was in November I think that was it guys I think that was it I got my nails done in the beginning of 2020 I think it was in March for my daughter's birthday I got her nails done she got her nails done and I got my nails done and that was the last time I got them done up until November that was my birthday and I got them done and um, took them off and I haven't gotten them put back on since I've been doing them myself ever since then so I love this method you know I buy these these are about I think ten dollars look how pretty they are um, they last me depending on how much uh, work I do in the kitchen and how much cleaning I do and if I wear gloves because if I wear gloves they last longer but sometimes I feel like I can't wear gloves at home because I can't I can't do my chores right like they bother me like I can't wash dishes and it just bothers me gloves bother me but if I were to wear gloves while doing my chores these will probably last me three weeks if not more I usually they've lasted three weeks but in three weeks I like I'm like you know what you know even though you're not supposed to because this is like um, that's what you use all this stuff for is to make sure that um you prime your nail correctly and all that so that way um the acrylic liquid and powder sticks properly to your nail that way um fungus is avoided and that's your main concern is not getting any water in your in your nails to be on the safe side you know but uh but yeah this method is an amazing method all right guys nails are done 